So what's up? Uh, welcome back to my channel. So today, I got another uh, Blender tutorial for you. And we're gonna make this object right here. It's just a nice uh, sphere, um, really detailed design, and it's really easy to do, and it's really simple. And, um, so uh, let's get started. You're not gonna lead them. You're not gonna need them. So just uh, highlight them and press delete. And you're gonna add in a mesh. You're gonna go to up here to add. Add in mesh and then add in plane. So you're gonna press S and scale the plane up. Then you're gonna add another mesh in. And we're gonna add an Ico scoop. You're gonna press G and Z to scale that up. <coughs> then we're gonna press S scale that a little bit bigger. We're actually going to scale the plane a little bigger too. So also we're going to add one more mesh. Go up here to add. And we're going to add a plane again. We're going to press G and Z. Scale that all the way up to the top. So <coughs> first things first, after you have this set up like this, all you have to do is go over here to the top uh, rendering engine and change it from EV to Cycles. And now we're going to switch over to the, uh, the rendering mode, a, double, uh, a better angle. So this is pretty much um, how the render is going to come out. What we want to do is click that top square and we're going to go up here to viewpoint, go down to area, then go to vertical split. You're gonna split it right in the middle, and you're gonna go right up here to this corner icon. We're gonna change it to Shader Editor. Slide this over to the side, and with this highlighted, we're gonna go down here to this bottom um, um, material properties. Then we're going to press New. Then you're gonna have this square pop up. Super easy. You're gonna delete, click, and delete this square right here. Then we're gonna press Shift A. We're going to add in an emission by pressing shift A and going to uh, shader. And um, you're going to take this emission and we're going to plug it right in here to the surface. And there you go, you got a little bit of a glow. So, quick thing what we're going to do super fast is we're going to grab this, delete this real fast, and we're going to add another icosphere. But with this, this time when we add the icosphere, this thing's going to pop up. Press GZ. We're going to scale that up again with S. Um, so we're going to resize. Oh, well. All right, so what we're going to have to do is I'm going to undo this one more time. So we're going to delete. We're going to add the mesh. We're going to go to icosphere. Then uh, instantly right here in Icosphere, you're going to turn it up to 3. So now that that's done, then you can press G and Z and scale it right up. Then you're going to press S and scale it. Okay, so in this render mode, it's really gray in the background. We're going to fix that by going over here to uh, World Properties. Click on the color right here and go and turn it all the way down to black. And we're scaling the plane up just a little bit more. So now, press GZ, yeah, scale that up a little bit more. So we're gonna add, go straight into this object. So we're gonna switch right back over here into the viewport shader. And we're going to go over here to edit mode. In edit mode, it's gonna be in the uh, vertex se uh, selection, but we're gonna actually uh, do face selection. So click face selection. We're gonna go right down here to bevel. So we're gonna bevel this to about right there so you get like pretty much halfway so we're going to bevel this one more time to about right there and then we're going to bevel it actually one more time and uh, try to keep it from um, uh, merging with each other so you get a really nice design so about right there is perfect ok 
Okay, so all you have to do with this from here is go right on up here to invert, invert faces. And we're about to, we're gonna grab, <coughs> go right here to invert faces. Wait, undo, undo, undo. By pressing Control Z, or uh, going up here to undo. And make sure it's still highlighted. Then we're gonna go to, um, right here to invert, uh, insert faces. I'm gonna grab this yellow circle and we're gonna scale it up a little bit until you start to get an effect. There we go. So uh, as you can see, it starts to mold into a really nice design. You can go as far as you'd like with this design. Um, I usually keep it about like right there. It's really good. And then we're actually going to try and do that one more time. So we grab that circle. And we're going to bevel it just like that. Perfect. So, now that you have this design right here, you're going to go to uh, up here to that emote and <coughs> change it into objects. And you have this circle right here all you have to do to define to define this is we're going to go right down here to the render um, the modification properties and we're going to add a modifier go right down here to subdivision surfaces click subdivision surfaces So now we have the subdivided. Um, usually I just click the subdivision on one time, it comes out pretty nicely. But uh, what I can do is subdivide it one more time. It's gonna take a minute. There we go, perfect. So now that you have this nice sphere, super chill design, all that you have to do from here is go back into your um, viewport where we have this rendered. I'm going to go into the shader editor that I had opened earlier and shift data add in. Oh wait, actually first before you do that, go down here to the circle so we can make sure that you have the circle uh, selected. Press new. And then the shader boxes should pop up. Perfect. Then all you have to do is do, uh, click right here on the square and delete that. Press shift A. Then add a emission. Then we're gonna press Shift A again. We're gonna add in a glass. So the glass you're gonna top, uh, uh, glass you're gonna plug into the top surface right here. With the emission, you're going to plug into the bottom and the volume. So now you have a nice glow effect. Um, it's gonna be a difficult to see until the cycles are rendered, but um, it looks really good in the render. So what I like to do at this point is. I like to change the coloring a little bit and, uh, and uh, turn the roughness down or turn the roughness up a little bit. So I'm going to turn this roughness up to about two, uh, 0.200. Then I'm going to change the color to blue color. That's going to be the color on the inside of the um, emitting from the inside of the object. It should be a nice blue. I like to uh, keep it really light. And we're going to go. Oh, wait, actually, that's actually the glass. Sorry about that. The roughness of the glass. It's going to be the color, color of the glass. Then we're going to go down here into this. This is the emission right here. We're going to put that in a green. Okay, okay. And um, as I said, it's a little difficult to see it right now um, with the cycles rendering. But pretty much all you have to do from here is just mess around with the um, the settings. You know, see what you prefer. Uh, what you prefer. Um, I like to keep the roughness up a little bit. I don't like too much reflectiveness and the strength of the emission. I might turn that down just a little bit. 
で。I might just turn that up a little bit. And then let's see if we can turn this up, in, up to 400. So I can get a little bit more of that color in there, the contrast. Okay, so now all you have to do from here is click the plane. I'm gonna change the color of the plane super fast. We're gonna uh, press new, square this, delete this, shift that. Go on up to shader. Go up here to Anist, uh, Anistropic. I like to use this one. It's a really cool shader. I mean, I like a nice design when it comes to the light and how the light reflects off the roof. But, or off of this uh, plane. And we're gonna turn the roughness. Up. So we're gonna change this color to a So now all you have to do since you have this orb created is add in a camera. So we're gonna go right here, press Z, go up to add, go down here to camera, grab the camera while it's highlighted, by pressing G and Z, scaling up, and then um, G and uh, X, and it'll bring it back. Then you're gonna press zero as a hotkey to go into your camera. So uh, we have this uh, nice orb. Uh, set up and really nice. So all you have to do, make sure the highlight, the, the camera's highlighted. Um, right click, go to camera lens angle. Then um, it's gonna give you um, the camera lens angles for the meters in the top up there. It's really nice. And then uh, press G Z to go up really fast. And uh, there you have it. Super simple, um, easy to do. Um, I have, I'm gonna be having a lot more tutorials for you guys. So uh, just come through to my channel. Super quick tutorials, get you some nice designs. Uh, soon I'll be uh, animating these and um, we'll be uh, making some animation videos as well. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm already 10k. And if you, uh, you know where to come to get the good, uh, good render.